Hey, what's up everybody? So today I want to talk to you guys about something really awesome. It's something that I don't think gets talked about enough, and that's why Vic Firth has started the movement, hashtag live to play. And what this is about is it's about all of that hard work, that effort, that setup, that teardown, that practice, that time, the blood, the sweat, the tears, everything that you pour into being the musician that you want to be and that you desire to be and all that you put into what you do. And it's something that like doesn't always get the respect it deserves because a lot of people see a musician and they think, wow, like, you know, they have fun playing guitar. They have fun playing drums. I can't believe they get to do that uh, to make money or I can't believe they get to, you know, go out and have fun and get to do that stuff and play in front of crowds and everything. Like, man, you know, I, I don't get to do like fun things like that. And yeah, that's true. It's really, really awesome to get to do what we love, whether it's for money or whether it's for charity or whether it's for our church or whether it's for our friends or whether it's just to have fun, it doesn't matter. But at the same time, there is so much effort, so much time, so much commitment to doing that and to doing a good job and to being the best you can be at your instrument and to just even moving and showing up to a gig and, and you guys realize that and that's what's so cool about this is it's just a celebration it's a a big shout out a big thank you a big here's some respect to you guys that work so hard to be the best you can be and to be musicians no matter what it is you play um, especially for drummers you guys know that you know when I go play a gig this whole setup here has to be taken down packed up put in my car driven to the place, taken out of the car, set up, put together, played, and then usually for us, most of us don't have drum techs and people to do all the work for us. Like If you're in a big touring band, a lot of times you might, but if you aren't, after you're tired, like dog tired from playing the gig, sweaty, and just ready to go home, you have to take it all down, put it all in your bags and your, your gear and your uh, suitcases or whatever it is that you bring your gear to the venue in, load it all up in your car and drive home just to get ready to do it the next night or to do it again. And those bands that are out there on tour doing it to um, not really make that much, but it's because of what they love, they do it every single night. And so it's a big thing. I mean, we work hard to do what we love. And so what I wanted to do today was just give a shout out to that movement. Um, you guys should support it. You guys should tell your stories of how you live to play, how hard it is you work, everything you put into what you do to do what you love. And that's the really cool thing about it is like everyone's got their own story. For me, uh, I mean, I've been doing this for years and years and years. I've been playing drums for like... Uh, like 18 years now. And so I've been tearing down drum sets and setting up drum sets for myself, for personal stuff, for gigs, for lessons, uh, for schools. Like I, I played in, in school band and I did marching band. I loaded up the gear trucks. I played for Georgia State's marching band and loaded up our big, huge truck with all of the drums in it and my stuff and the gear for the rock band. And so I've been doing this tirelessly for years. And I know so many of you guys have been doing it just as long or even longer or have put in so much effort um, in your time. And so for me, I think one of the biggest examples of this movement would be my participation in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with the Georgia State Marching Band. Um, I actually got the opportunity to perform uh, in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on a drum set, which has never been done with a marching band before. And so we had a custom float built. I had my rack system bolted down to the float and then the drums and everything attached to that. And so it's that crystal beat drum set back behind me over there. But all of that effort, like what's crazy about it is we practiced for months, like multiple times per week. I would take the drum set off the truck, I'd set it up, I'd get ready to play, um, I'd have to move the, the float around the field, push all the, the guitar amps and everything were on it, we'd set all that up, we'd put the generator in there, we'd rev it up, we'd practice, we'd go all over the place for hours at a time, over and over and over again, practicing the same, like, pretty much a minute and a half performance, over and over and over again. And then, finally, 
Thanksgiving comes and I wake up at about 2 a.m. I went to bed at like 10 and I woke up at 2 a.m. and started setting up. The parade wasn't for hours and hours and hours, but to set up on that day, we had to get ready. We had to make sure everything was prepped as far as tire pressure on my float and the tires were changed out and swapped and the thing was set up and ready to pull off the truck and set up real quick for rehearsal, get back on the truck, tear it back down, set it back up once we get ready for the parade. And so it was absolutely the craziest day of my life and it all came down to pretty much like 45 seconds on television. Now that 45 seconds on television was in front of like 50 million people and it was the biggest performance that you pretty much can do in a marching band for a college or anything of that nature. And so it was so worth it. And you guys know what that's like. You guys know what it's like to put in the effort and the time and to go after a dream and then get to go do it. Like playing in front of even a hundred people is the coolest thing ever. Playing in front of 10 people who love what you do, it doesn't matter how many. What matters is that you live to play and that you love to play. You love to play, so you live to play and you do everything you can. And what this video about is for me and why I play drums is because this is what I love. I've always said, I don't care if I make millions of dollars or if I make just enough to survive, I wanna do what I love. And that's why I live to play because this is what I love. I'll put in all the effort I can. I used to put in 16 hours a day editing videos and making videos just so that I could try and build up a YouTube channel so I could get some opportunities to go play and, and things like that. And so you guys follow me on that. I know you do. And, and what I want to tell you is like if you have a dream, if you have something you want to go after, if you live to play, if you love to play, then live to play. Go for it. Take it. Whatever it is, whether it's guitar, drums, uh, singing, you don't have to really carry that much equipment if you're a singer, but if you got a PA system or something, you got to do it. If you're a singer-songwriter with a guitar and you got to set up a PA and all that, it doesn't matter. Even if it's not musicians, there are other things out there where there's so much effort. And this isn't just about musicians. The live to play is about musicians setting things up. But in all reality, if you want to go after a dream, put in the work and go after it. And I mean, here I am today getting to do what I love because I never gave up and I just went after it every single day and I still do. I work as hard as I possibly can all the time to create and to um, work on myself and to be the best I can be and to move equipment and to help people. I play for my church all the time and we set up an entire uh, uh, a whole setup at a church because we have a mobile church and we do it every single Sunday and like sometimes there's not that many people that come to this campus of the church yet we're still working on growing it it's very new and so we'll we'll spend three hours setting up and tearing down and play for you know 20 to 50 people or sometimes 100 or 150 people or 200 people depending on how well people come that day but it's not about the number it's not about necessarily like you know playing to a huge crowd it's about doing what we love for the right reasons and for me um, playing for my church is the absolute best reason playing for God worshiping with with all the talents that he's given me is the absolute best reason and so for you whatever it is I hope that you live to play a big shout out to Vic Firth for coming up with this series, this idea, this concept, and I hope you guys go out and post your own Live to Play videos. If you do, tag me in them. Share it on social media. Make sure that this gets out there because we deserve it, you know? We deserve the recognition for the time and effort that we put in. Um, I am very blessed to get recognition from people, and it's not really about recognition, but just knowing, like, some of us out there don't necessarily get, like, a lot of high fives and thank yous for all the effort that you put in and you deserve it. So this is my shout out to you guys. Go out there and live to play. Thank you for all that you do. Keep rocking and keep having fun behind the kit, behind whatever it is you do. And thanks for watching. Live to play.